So since uploading the the parsing guide, I've been getting so many questions about what is the reasoning behind going for crit over expertise in tier eleven. Because for most people, and and this will be true for most people, um, expertise up to the hard cap, so you know past soft cap up to the hard cap, will be the best stat for you. So why would we go crit? Well, this crit will be the best stat for an, from an overall perspective, and it won't be true for every single encounter. Um, but let's go through why crit is actually going to be better for most people than expertise uh, in, in tier 11. So, you know, let's just go through the bosses, boss by boss, and uh, let me see if I can if I can convince you. And of course, at the end, we'll do a little bit of a of a TLDR. So, you know, if you don't want to stay around for the whole thing, just skip to the end and uh, you'll have a little bit of a, a rule of thumb for when crit is going to be better than expertise. Okay, so... If well, let's start with the premise that expertise is better than crit. That's true for most people. When I'm simming my character, they are extremely close uh, with the gear that I currently have. So of course, make sure to sim your own gear um, and make that a determination yourself. But even if expertise is a decent chunk better than crit, there may still be reasons to go for crit in this tier. And so if we go go down the boss list, you know, let's start with uh, let's start with Blackwing Descent, the first place that people usually go, and where a lot of um, all-star points is to be gained. So if we start on Magma, um, Magma, obviously, when you run in, you do your opener, you offload, he's gonna be able to crit, or you're gonna he's gonna be able to parry, of course. However, if you ever looked at the breakdown of your damage on Magma, a, the majority of that damage is to the exposed head. Uh, let's see here. We have, have this right here. Um, only 47% is on Magma itself, while the rest is on the exposed head, either when you're in Mangle or when it's exposed, when you have lust and everything like that. And during that time, he doesn't parry. So 50% of the damage you do is not affected by expertise at all. So in this case, Magma, it's obviously a fight where you would prefer to have crit. Uh, Omnichon. This is a fight where I think, ideally, you will you know, in an ideal world that you would want to run expertise. But of course, it's a, you know, it's a boss that doesn't count for all stars. It's very cheesable. Not too many people care about Omnitron. But um, it is worth noting that during the cast that Omnitron does, you have Toxitron spawning his ads. You have uh, Magmatron doing his frontal ability, etc., etc. Um, the bosses don't parry there either. But I think overall, Expertise is better in Omnichomp. Um, Atromedes. If you are doing a, you know, the, the more parsing strats, where you are going full gongs at the start, just full blast, and you um, use all of your gongs until the, except for the, the, the one that you save for searing flame and aiming to kill it before it flies up he's not going to be um he's not going to be parrying during the during the gongs so obviously there a huge portion of the damage is is going to come from the time when, when it's done and so crit will be better on on that fight uh chimera i think this is a fight where they're roughly equivalent uh, depending on how how crits versus expertise sims for you but for me, where crit just seems slightly lower, um, it's definitely worth it for me because you're spending a, a decent amount of time behind the boss uh, during feud. And of course, if you don't if you don't don't know already, if you uh, use AMS before the caustic slime goes out, 
then uh, you won't get the the hit reduction debuff. So you're doing a lot of damage while while you're not actively tanking, and you are also getting vengeance from absorbing that damage. So you're usually at a very high vengeance when not tanking as well. Um, and then what we do, we have the Feral Druid tank in the last phase. So that means that most likely for 20% of the boss's health, I will be standing behind the boss, not really doing, uh, not really, you know, having the possibility of parry being there. So in this case, for me at least, crit is always going to be better on Chimera. Uh, Maloriac. You may think that this is a clear-cut boss where where expertise would be better because you're always tanking the boss, you're always doing it head-on, and um, and there's no no part of the boss of the face where you're behind the boss. Well, that's true, but um, in heroic in the black face, he will be doing his frontal ability, and during that channel, the boss cannot parry. And that happens for about one and a half minutes. And if you look at the kill timers, you know, we have a relatively, relatively long kill time because we have not been doing our main raids in, uh, with, uh, in, in this phase. And uh, so let's assume, you know, a, a parsing guild, so to speak, will be around the three minute marks. Do, during the frontal, that's about half of the fight that you're not benefiting from expertise. And so this is another another case where the Omeloriac, where crit is just clearly better than expertise. Uh, the Farian, there may be there may be cases where you would not benefit from expertise, but assuming that you're tanking. And you're tanking Onyxio in the first phase, and and Nefarian in the last phase. Then expertise is most likely for everyone always going to be better. But another zero point all star fight, so not the end of the world. For Halfus, I I think actually general generally in Bastion of Twilight expertise is always better so if you are like me <laughs> and don't have any any hundred parses in passion of twilight um then maybe uh um it's a reforged angle to expertise for for that one week when you want to parse in there uh, that being said there is one very 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 big exception to that and that is sinestra sinestra cannot parry at all. So the only time when you would get benefit from expertise in this fight is when you are attacking the adds in the second phase. Now this is such a small, 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 small portion of the damage that you're doing in the encounter that obviously crit or any stat really is always going to be better than expertise on Sinestra. That brings us to Throne of the Four Winds. And Conclave is one of those where I think it's generally better with expertise, assuming that your expertise seems a lot higher than your than crit for you. Um, but there are still portions of the fight where you don't benefit from expertise. And that would be while the boss is doing his frontal ability which is several casts throughout the fight and when it's channeling its ultimate ability and um, that's also a fairly decent decent portion of the fight so for me where the crit and expertise values are very similar crit is going to be performing better on this fight as well um alakir um obviously you have the whole third phase where where expertise is absolutely doing nothing for you, like zero value, and so and that's twenty five percent of the of the encounter, um, you know, health wise, not not time spent necessarily, but you know, health wise, and that means that obviously 
assuming that your your crit and expertise values are are somewhat similar crit is going to come out on top there as well um so if you just look at the amount of fights where you gain more from crit um you would have magma atremides chimeron uh, maloriac conclave alakir uh, and sinestra being the kind of big ones with um with magma um maloriac sinestra um being and, and, and like here being the being the ones that matters the most and and just those bosses alone is gonna make make you swing more towards crit than expertise um if you want to go more for you know overall damage in the raid um but i think you know if you want to break it down to a rule of thumb in my personal opinion is if crit is has 75 percent value of expertise or higher then you should go for crit in tier 11. if it's lower then expertise will probably generally still come at, come ahead uh, that being said if you are a true parse brain if you want to go for hundreds across the board then i think ideally you would want to pick and choose which bosses you actually want to parse on that week so if i'm looking at at my uh page right here i'm like oh you know what i really want to go for some some hundreds in bastion of twilight then i think it might be might be better for me to just go into expertise and um and try to get some try to bang out some big numbers that week um and then and then go go back into crit but as a rule of thumb i think crit is better in tier 11. um i think expertise is going to be better in in tier 12. and um but then it ultimately comes down to how you sim so always always check out how you sim <laughs>